So today I'm going to unveil something really interesting, probably one of the most interesting products I've ever seen on Kickstarter to this date, and it's called the Slow Dance. And basically, this thing makes objects appear to slow down in time. I'll talk a little bit about that later on in the video. Okay, so let's open up the box and see what we have inside here. So, as we can see, we actually have a frame and look at they included two feathers, so that's right on. And we have a little accessory box on the side here. And it looks like they included some cables, some extra stands, and uh, some mounts. And most importantly, they included some instructions. So I'm going to put this together and uh, let's see if this thing actually works. Okay, so as you can see, I have it uh, ready to go here. I tried it out. It's really cool, actually. Um, so I'll just show you quickly what it can do here with the feathers. And basically, I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of slows down the feathers a little bit. Or it makes it appear like they're slowing down. It just... So we'll go to a different mode here. That's a little bit faster. And it's using strobe lights to make it appear like it's slowing down, but actually it's just vibrating really fast. And it's coordinating with the lights. And that's like a photographic mode there. And a really fast mode. So, and then it just turns off when you go cycling through the mode. So, and then you can control the lighting a little bit. You can make it a little bit brighter and darker. Okay, so enough of that, um, let's try some other objects, and uh, I got some interesting ideas here, so let's mess around with this and see what it can do. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is that my camera is not really good for recording this, because it's picking up the cycle rate of the strobe lights. So yes, I apologize for that, but it does look better just looking at it with your own eye. Um, if the only complaint I have is that you can slightly see the cycle rate in the strobe lights sometimes, but it's just dependent on the lighting conditions. And it also doesn't work on every type of object, but I did find it did work really good with ferns, some types of flowers, and most importantly, it does work with any kind of feather I put in this thing. I was gonna try some fluids and magnets and stuff like that, but I think I'll save that for another day just so I don't wreck this right away. So overall, I would recommend buying this thing if it's still worth $200 and it becomes a marketable product. And unlike a lot of Kickstarter campaigns, this company actually delivered, so kudos to them. Once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it or found it useful, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.